All right, happy Thursday. Thanks for joining us here on what a, a beautiful day it is. It will be a beautiful evening. Temperatures are warm, above average for the first time in a little while. The wind has been light, great falls, maybe a little hazy. I had a little Canadian wildfire smoke work its way into the state, but fortunately it was not as bad as uh, it was several weeks ago, and it will not last here. Look at the warmth, upper 80s now, up on the high line. 70s, even 68 down in West Yellowstone, a little more cloud cover uh, closer to an area of low pressure that brought the storms yesterday. We have not had a lot of wind lately, have we? Uh, maybe near some of the thunderstorms. Well, tomorrow it gets a little breezy, a little west wind picking up, and then Saturday will be a windy day for a lot of the states. Look at that, wind speeds. Uh, between about 15, 25 miles per hour, Rocky Mountain Front, we could have some gusts to 40. Now, typically, with the wind, with the low humidity and temperatures in the 90s, this has red flag warning all over it here. However, things have been quite green and wet here recently, so I think we'll escape without having to need a red flag warning, but just keep in mind, it's hot, it's dry, it's windy, and things will be drying out pretty quickly, curing up here, especially that annoying cheat grass. But a couple isolated showers and thunderstorms uh, out there, south of Helena, west of town as well, up over the Elkhorns. Uh, looks like a good little thunderstorm there and off towards the southwest of Boulder as well. Right just west of Avon, right close to Avon. A little shower right there, Gray Falls dry. Looks like there's one lone thunderstorm southwest of Augusta there, maybe closer to the Benchmark Road area. A couple of showers and storms up over the Little Belts. Had a couple of good thunderstorms in between the Bear Paws and the Little Rocky Mountains. And a few small storms working across uh, the Canadian border. More storms down towards the south, Wyoming, Utah, parts of Colorado uh, here. That actually is a tornado watch there into southeastern Wyoming, western parts of Nebraska, and northern Colorado. So a few, meaning couple, three, isolated thunderstorms out there this evening for tomorrow. Uh, maybe a little more than a couple, three, but generally still isolated thunderstorms up here in the afternoon, mainly on the high line. Notice, though, maybe up around the Holter Lake area could have a little storm or something pop off of. Uh, the Rocky Mountain front, but best chance for storms kind of north of Glasgow, up closer to Opheim, up there, Culbertson, and all the way on up there near uh, Medicine Lake. But Saturday, we'll also have a couple of isolated thunderstorms more in the south central part of the state here. Saturday afternoon, northeast Montana again. Sunday should be a dry day, but it will get a little cooler as we head into Monday with some showers late through Monday night into the 4th of July. Actually looks like a lot of the state could be pretty wet here Monday night into Tuesday. Showers and storms clearing though by Tuesday afternoon. Fireworks displays should be great. The weather later in the evening here and it'll be nice to have a little cool down after uh, some of this heat here, just weather-wise, keeping the fire danger down. Uh, here's the forecast for tonight, 50s and 60s, fairly mild. And again, we've got an isolated thunderstorm or two for uh, the next couple of hours. Tomorrow, really from around Haver, even the Sweetgrass Hills on the High Line, isolated afternoon and evening thunderstorms. Look at that heat, some of the warmest weather we have seen so far in 2023. This is likely July 1st, 100% chance it's July 1st, but July 1st will likely be the hottest day so far this year. Low to mid 90s, maybe a little cooler around Lewistown, down through the Bozeman area and south central parts of the state, even close to Helena. A Couple of isolated thunderstorms Saturday afternoon. Hot, dry, breezy with isolated storms. Wouldn't surprise me if a red flag warning is issued, but uh, really the fire danger won't be as bad because of all that rain that we've had here recently. And then Sunday, here comes that front. Look at that, cut bank at 78. 
still a little warmer towards the south. And then Monday, 70s to about 80, with some showers and thunderstorms increasing. And I think it's Monday night into Tuesday morning could be pretty wet. Scattered showers and storms on the 4th across most of the state.